Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Oxenfree. Let's keep going, shall we? We have to save our good friend, Ren. Which is probably gonna be super simple and straightforward. Even though currently we are traversing the woods. Uh, do you think there was anything down? Okay, we're checking. I'm just gonna do a, a quick little check here, folks, to see if there's anything uh, worth noting. Actually, this seems pretty dangerous. I'm gonna say we don't want to go down there. Although I guess that if we had gone down the other way and not jumped across the chasm, then we probably would have made... I don't know, should we go back? Should we go back and see what's there? I guess we could. Let's just take a quick moment to do that, folks. I'll be right back. Oh, god damn. Gotta stop doing that. I need to stop uh, beginning new Let's Plays. I need to go back and finish old ones. I'm really bad for that, I'm learning. Because I still have uh, Vanquish that I have to do, which is a great, great game. Uh, oh, God, what's down here? I have got Vanquish. I'm, I'm still in the process of playing Dark Souls. Look at all this. Um, and then I've still got uh, Devil May Cry as well, the first game. I should really get back to that. I was enjoying that, and then, you know, things take over, right? Okay, what do we got? Ooh, look at that. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really, no. What about this? Hang on. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988... Okay, well, we can come back to that at a later date, I suppose, right? Hang on. Bridge stand... So either way, we're going to the bridge stand, right? I mean, we might just... There might be just two different ways of getting there. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, there are definitely two ways. Oh, wow, how'd you get down here, buddy? You are a quick one, my little hedgehog. Okay, so that's probably the other way that we came, just right above us there. So let's climb this. It's got to be painful in the hands to climb that. Okay, so... Oh, my days, look at all this. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like... Just like a normal bridge? It's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or even on. I don't know. I think we have to. Oh, come on. It's the woods. There has to be like, I don't know, other dirt we can walk on to get to Ren. Maybe? Uh, sure. Maybe. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. <laughs> oh, check out the smallest cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. Ugh, pet cemetery. That is still one movie I cannot bring myself to watch again, even as an adult. That movie when I was little, I watched it probably when I was too young to do so, but it freaked me the hell out. The goddamn, what's her name? Was her name Zelda? The the sister? With the, it was confined to the bed, it was all creepy. That was, ugh. <laughs> I was just thinking of it creeps me out. Power transfer station 167. We going in? Oh, we are too. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? I don't know. Monsters? Just monsters? That's your answer? No big deal. For now. Circuit Breaker. What's, what else is in here? Television! Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. <laughs> well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. Oh, soaps. Circuit Breaker! I found the Circuit Breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So Great. what does it say to do? Just 
let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know... Please, I can handle pulling two switches. I really just don't like... Oh, come on. I can't think of a way to delicately put this, but... Watch, all right? It's easy. Okay, it's your barbecue. Barbecutionist. Uh, what did you Ooh. flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. But... I don't know, maybe it was labeled wrong. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? Uh... It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. For oh. some reason it reminds me of the cave. I don't like this. Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Hey, don't worry. This will be just another in a series of escalating funny stories to tell our parents when we get home. If we get home. Oh, be an optimist. Okay. What have I done? I can't believe this. It's locked now. Oh, no! It's okay. We'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. Oh, this sounds so creepy. I don't like it. Ooh, ooh. What is happening? Okay. Let's see if we can just... Oh. Oh. That's... That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Ah. Uh. Okay, good. Good then. Glad that's sorted out. Bye now. <laughs> oh, this is creepy. There's a chair here. Was this chair uh, here before? Was that there before? I don't think so. Might as well sit Alex, in it. Are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Ah. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look. It was worth it. All right. <laughs> Seriously, though, why the hell is that chair there? That is creepy. I don't like it. Sorry, what's up here? Where are we going? This is not the way to the, to the, to the gondola, right? What is that thing up there? Looks like a mushroom from Mario Brothers 3. Oh no, it's another thing where we can use our, our radio, right? Do something creepy? Yeah? Wait for it. Box six. Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am, and I know who you are. And nothing else makes a difference. Okay. Well, that wasn't terrifying at all. Does that do anything? Box six. Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am, and I know who you are. And nothing else makes a difference. Okay, that's creepy. What was the name? Something Dunbar? Where the hell are we going? Um... Oh, there's a... There's a little cabin up there, right? Maybe that's where we're headed. Ah! There it is! What do we got here? Door! It says it's the... I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. Hmm... Okay then. Uh, so we can't go in there then, I guess? Oh, that freaks me out. Ah, okay, so there's nothing I can really do here. What's this? It was also the first check of the call and response method. 
If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety. Okay. Uh, let's head down here then. I don't really know what the significance of that of that uh, of that station is, but I'm sure it'll come back into play at some point, right? But for now, we have to save our dear friend Ren. Jonas, are you? Yeah, he's fine. He was just stuck on the rocks a little bit. Maybe got a sleeve caught on a jagged rock or something. There's that chair again. This this game is creepy, but it's also <sighs> what a night, huh? What a night. Um, what does that mean? What do you mean, what does it mean? I'm just saying, this this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. Stuff happens. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Yeah. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Shut up! Says you, man. <laughs> Controls. Praise Hop the Lord. Praise the sun. Go to campground. Oh god, that's so rickety. Jesus. We're fine. We're fine! Here we come, Ren! Eventually, if this is the right way, which I think it is. They were speaking as if it is. There we go. Safe and sound. Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's yeah. one good thing that happened tonight. So you're saying you were expecting it to? I half was. But it didn't. So... You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean... I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Yeah. With my brother. With Michael? Yeah? Like, with your mom and dad, or...? Sometimes mom and dad, but... Mostly just him and me. Oh, that's cool. Like he's... like he'd be babysitting you and he'd bring you out here? That's nice of him. He could have just stayed home, you know? I mean, I, I guess, sorta. An impartial observer might look at it and say he's babysitting her, but... It didn't feel that way, to me. It just felt like we were... hanging out. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean... yeah, yeah, of course. Some people camp here, but... it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kinda... dumpy. Like... I don't know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah, I can see this place being cool like in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Whoa! You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's uh? what Ren made it sound like. You... didn't you already say that? Did I? I only mention it because my family trips... What? ...were awful. My mom would always insist on going to Missouri. Every single year. What? Well, I mean, it was all we could afford, but still. That's a long drive for pretty much nothing. <laughs> Why was it so bad? Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, I think places are pretty much what you make of them, you know? And not the other way around. Yeah, I think I agree. It's just a theory, anyway. What? You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it. Something is... Something's wrong. We've already done this, like, twice. What? Done what? Because I don't remember any of this. Jonas, seriously? You don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot. Again and again. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but... I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? Or is it something else? Uh. We keep repeating this one moment for- This is, uh, new. Ah, oh, it's- It's kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Oh, shut up. Oh, oh. shut up. <laughs> Fair enough. So I interrupted what we were saying. Oh, this music is fantastic. You used to... Wait. Haven't we done this before? We're going in circles or something. Oh, now you're getting it. Only took 300 go-rounds on the never-ending cycle of whatever we're stuck in. Well, sorry. I mean, wait. 
Really? I don't remember that, but okay. Uh, uh. Oh, the ball, um, oh. moved. That was weird. Par for the course, really. Okay. Um. Who's there? So it's just. That's strange. Wow. I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, I I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Uh, okay, I I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Okay. Yep. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh, what's that? Don't want to play anymore? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Alex, can you believe this? <sighs> my doctor's not going to be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. Alex, I think we're dealing with ghosts. Just a hunch. Uh. Oh, yeah? What tipped you off? The messages, the ball, or maybe it was the ghost... The ghost that just burned itself into the rock? Yeah, that. Okay. Stop it! Oh. Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. Jonas? Did you get teleported somewhere? What? How am I... Is this an optical illusion or something? Ah! Uh. Tell Michael to break up with Clarissa. It's for the best. But Michael's... Dead. How could I even? Wait, wait. We've done this before. What? We're still stuck, but I kicked the stupid ball and everything. What more do you want? It's all right. We must have just missed, um, something. Are you? Can you kind of remember more now? It's starting to stick. Yeah, I mean, it's still sort of foggy, but whatever. I'll deal with it. Okay. This is... This is really... This is really weird. What is that? Huh. This is... That's just like the armoire in the cave. Super duper old, but in like, new condition. You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. Yeah, but making it sound right did what? I... I don't know, but it's like my allergies cleared up or something. Let's just keep going and get Ren. Okay. <laughs> well, folks, that was supremely weird, but super interesting and creepy. That's... <laughs> I love it. It's... it's so, I'm so confused right now, but that was really neat. Anyways, folks. I have been Lock Lackey. This has been Oxen Free. Let me know your thoughts so far, because I am super intrigued. Uh, anyways, thank you very much for joining me, folks, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Oxen Free. Take care. <laughs>